what is BizTalk 360? So this is a question we receive quite frequently in emails and forums and stuff like that. So today I thought I'll explain briefly what it is. So if you look at the way right now BizTalk customers support their BizTalk uh, solutions in a production environment, so they use tools like BizTalk Admin Console and BAM Portal, ESB Portal and all those kind of things. But there is a huge problem when it comes to uh, on the operation side of things. Because majority of the tools were designed uh, not thinking uh, operations in mind. Let's take a look at the example of a BizTalk Admin Console. So it's a really, really powerful tool. But the problem with that is it's not designed for operations. So the same tool, BizTalk Admin Console, is used by a developer during development. It's the same tool used by the IT pro for doing things like a deployment, a binding configuration, importing, exporting MSIs, all those kind of things. And when the same tool was given over to the operations guy you know, for doing things like uh, looking after the suspended instances, terminating them, resuming them, diagnosing problems, all those kind of things, it's good, but the challenge is like the tool is too powerful and it expects a level of understanding of BizTalk. So you cannot hand over the tool to a non-BizTalk person, so who, somebody who doesn't know anything about BizTalk, which is way too dangerous for, for to give it to people without any BizTalk knowledge. The reason being, it doesn't come with any level of a controlled access, so it's basically all or nothing. If once somebody got access to BizTalk Admin Console, they can do pretty much anything they want in the environment. The other challenge we have seen is it's very, very common uh, people having like a full-blown RDP access to your BizTalk server, SQL servers, and the database access and all those kind of things, which is not a really an ideal scenario. You really don't want your uh, support people to logging on and off into your production BizTalk servers during your during your business hours. You know, it, it, it's really, really tough to see like uh, uh, w uh, what they're doing and it's always difficult to police people around. Uh, these are some of the challenges what we try to address in BizTalk 360. The idea for us is to give like a tool, it's purely focused on the operation side of things. So once you get your stuff into production and from that point onwards you get into uh, the day-to-day -day, uh, operational activities like how efficiently you can run your environment making sure it's healthy, like if something goes wrong, you get alerted straight away. All these are typical challenges, and that's exactly what we are trying to address with uh, BizTalk 360. Security is one of the key aspects of BizTalk 360. Right now, out of the box, the BizTalk, uh, the operational security in BizTalk is handled by a couple of uh, NT user groups. So one is called the BizTalk Administrator Group, and the another one is called BizTalk Operators Group. In my 12 plus years of experience working with BizTalk, I hardly have seen anybody using the operators group efficiently. You can't use it basically. You start off thinking you can you can have a controlled access for your team, but within a couple of days somebody will complain saying, you know, they can't do this, they can't do that. It's very restricted. The rules are very, very restricted and you end up giving admin rights to all those support people. And BizTalk being right in the middle of, uh, of your organization, it will process some really, really critical uh, confidential messages from various parts of your business. And it's very important for you to secure it in a proper way so that you know your support guys are not having access to some of the confidential data. You're okay for them to have access to all the technical details like uh, instance ID, message ID, and all those kind of things. But you really don't want them to have access to the content of the message. It could be a patient's health record. It could be somebody's financial record. You really don't want them to have access to those kind of things. So that's another core area of uh, BizTalk 360. The another important aspect we are so trying to solve is on the monitoring side. Right now, if you wanted to monitor your BizTalk environment, you would need to rely on some external tooling. The Microsoft way of, uh, way of doing it is by using Microsoft System Center Operation Manager. It got a really good management pack for BizTalk. But in my experience, the challenge is how to configure it. It's a really complex product because COM is not just designed for BizTalk. It's an enterprise class monitoring solution and it requires a level of understanding how to configure it, how to manage it, how to maintain it, all those kind of things. And I personally have seen lots and lots of companies struggling to do that. So you need to rely on some external monitoring team to help you to do that. And they typically don't understand BizTalk because BizTalk is another complex product and it, for you to find somebody who understands both, it's virtually impossible. And you, the companies end up doing nothing 
and uh, over a period of time you're just uh, hoping the luck and that's another big area what we are trying to address with uh, Vistock 360. Vistock 360 is a very matured product now, it's about uh, four years and we constantly innovated. Every quarter we released a release and it's about 40 or 45 releases in the last four years. And we didn't blindly go and build things, we always listened to customers, community and our own uh, experience and we added carefully the features which will help Vistock Server customers to streamline their Vistock operations. There are lots and lots of things. This is, I just want to give you like a very quick overview of what Bistock 360 is. And maybe watch out some of the videos on our product side to go in depth into some of the things we are doing, like an operational automation, like a auto recovery of your environments and all those kind of things. It's widely used. It's one of the, become the industry standard. And we got, we are very privileged to have some of the top companies using the product happily. And I'll recommend you to just uh, give it a try. Thank you very much.